done with an E on the end. I hate you, la 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 la, take a sad song and make it better, etc. Junebug. Mm. Junebuggy. Mm. So, we are in, well we're not. We're in July. Mm. But we're only just, just over a week. Mm. But we're doing my June pickups. And like a few bits this month. <coughs> or last month. <coughs> or last month. <coughs> <laughs> Bananas. <laughs> yeah, so I'll start off this month with a digital pickup. I actually picked up the Capcom Beat'em Ups bundle, and yeah, it's actually a great bargain. I think it was like a third off, weren't it? Yeah, a couple of weeks yeah. back, Journey 3, so I picked it up. I recently played through um, all six games with Jason. Yeah. And I've uh, got to be honest, it was kind of weird. Love Final Fight, uh, love the Dragon one. But my favourite one, I can't King remember his name. Yeah, I can't remember his name at the moment. It's Punch or something. Battle like. Circuit. Battle Circuit, yeah. That was my favourite one. Yeah. I actually preferred that even to Bloody Final Fight. Mm. It's very much like Captain Commando, isn't it? Yeah. It's very similar. Only even more so on bigger steroids. Yeah. It's on bigger yeah. drugs. Because it was like the last of those kind of Capcom big scrolling fighting games. You yeah. Know, scrolling beat em ups. Yeah. Um, it was the last one. Um, it really shows because it's so over the top and there's so much mm. to it. It's fantastic. Exactly. And you could be a big, big pink fucking ostrich and beat the shit out of people, <laughs> which is awesome. Nation, uh, Nation, Jason's favourite, because I played through with say, all six of them with Jason, was uh, Knights of the Round. And I'll be honest, it's a bit I just average. Found that so boring. It's a bit <laughs> average. Yeah. The thing is, so King of Dragons as well. Suffered, yeah, uh, same as that. Suffered from kind of like a scrolling beat em up burnout because it's kind of like playing through We played for them so quick just over Also, the, week. the problem is. That those two games kind of gave birth to something that's really, really, really good that you've played, mm. and that's Dungeons and Dragons games by Capcom. Yeah, yeah and we played that a couple of years back, yeah. didn't we, on the yeah. Xbox 360. And we so, so we spent some time between playing one and two, mm. but so me and Jason played this collection, we played, apart from a weekend, we played them one one a day, one night after each other. Um, but Battle Circuit, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I used the woman that has got that, the catty dog thing that yeah, like, yeah. helps out and attacks. Uh, Captain Commando was the first time I've ever actually finished Captain Commando. Hmm. Um, but I, I just, other than, I say, Battle Circuit, uh, Final Fight, I found the combat in most of them just really dull. Yeah, but Armored Warriors is great. Armored Warriors, oh yeah, can't forget Cyberbots. <laughs> the before Cyberbots, Cyberbots, yeah. which is. Cyberbot Zero. Yeah, yeah the pre prequel. Yeah. And um, so after playing them, I was basically on a kind of like a memory of other sort of like side scrolling beat em ups that I played in the past. Now, there was one that. I always stuck in my memory because um, I had it a while back and the problem was when I sold my SNES and my N64 collection to get me, um, oh my god, PC Engine, Yeah. it went. However, I went online. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I had this original, I had it boxed and complete and it cost me a tenner from Alex's. Um, but I went online and I got myself Rival Turf. And this cost me seven pound twenty delivered, which we, is a hell of a lot cheaper which than it we, normally. We goes almost on. played through ages ago. Didn't yeah, we? yeah. And this game is absolutely freaking great. I really enjoy playing through it, even though I've still got a little bit of the burnt out from playing the two D beat 'em up side scrolling games with fighting and kicking and so forth. Um, this is absolutely great. I'll definitely put this up there with the top tier of the um, side. Scrolling beat him up through the <laughs> I can only say it so many times. <laughs> just a um, little caption, just, just hold a little board yeah. up, sort of saying. Uh, you have like a fake M. Bison, who is definitely the best character to play mm. in this. Um, I had also five credits, and I managed to get up to mission four, and it's such a really long game yeah, as well. Yeah, it really is. And there's so many cheeses, like Arnold, that you have basically yeah. Arnold as Arnold in yeah. there. Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yes, and uh, it's a fucking really, really good game. And I've sort of come round tonight, and I was like, Tony, Tony, what were the sequels called? What, 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 you know, what happened? And I think we only got this in the UK, didn't we? Yeah. We didn't get yeah. the sequels in the UK. There was Rushing Beat Ran, yeah. which was called something else. And then there's the third one, which was Rushing Beat Sure. Uh, two looks great. Three looks cool. I mean, two was very much sort of the final fight looking one, yeah. wasn't it? yeah. But yes, this is great. I mean, say, say cut only of this is on eBay. They're like twenty five quid now, and yeah. box is like a hundred pounds. Yeah. Um, but one of the better ones, I definitely want to get more like this on the SNES. Now I know of Captain Commando, I'll never be able to afford the SNES version. I don't know if it's any good. Mm. I'll never. Be able it's to not afford bad. The SNES version, it's not right? bad. It's not mm. bad. So other sort of side scrollers come out like this on the SNES. Let's not talk about Final Fight. There's, <laughs> no, there's not that Two many. And three. There's not that many. Um, yeah. yeah, Final Fight Three is the obvious one because it's really fucking good. Yeah. Um, but there wasn't that many. I mean, I actually had Rival Turf. 
Yeah. Um, I had Roshin B. I had the Japanese version. Oh, well, Jason had Japanese yeah, version. Yeah, well. I had Japanese version. Worked from CEX Import when it was uh, actually in London. They had CEX Retro, CEX Import, and it's from CEX Import. When they had like five shops, CEX PC as well. When it was proper CEX, not the bollocks it is now. Not the franchise kind of nonsense it is yeah. now. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, I would say last, uh, the biggest problem is that the best one is still Turtles in Time. Yeah. That's the that biggest problem. Awesome. That's probably my still personal favourite on the Super mm. Nintendo. You've got to play that start of the game. Yeah. It's going to be Turtles in Time. Yeah. Get the American, I've got the American version because the English version is mm. too pricey. The American version, you still pick up about 20 quid. And great, real, real good game. Real good game. Um, but yeah, I just, I can't remember. There was some other one that I know that I played, but it was so long ago. And it could have been on the Ninja Wild Warriors? Card. Yeah, and it's like it could have been Ninja on Warriors the Wild again. Card yeah, because we Ninja played Warriors so again. much on the Wild yeah, Card. I think you, it was if you played on the Wild Card, you're never really sure if it was official or if it got released. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was so much yeah. stuff on the Wild Card. And um, yeah, continuing my um, buying stuff on the PS1, trying to get out of all the fighties and stuff, I. Um, Capcom fighties? Yes, took another gamble. On CEX because in stock for £28 they got Street Fighter the movie which is here so I picked it up turned up yeah two times in a row boxed really good condition manual mm. and everything it so is clean, isn't it? yeah quick wipe over or something however it's freaking shit <laughs> <laughs> it plays so it's actually got lag it's really slow and it plays so so yeah, bad. It's really know, slow. I don't know how because I played it on the fucking Saturn not long ago and two different completely the versions. Saturn's, the but the Saturn one, well, it, well, it, they're still the same game, but they're yeah. shittier. Yeah, it's the same game, but shittier. <laughs> the shittier and the shittiest. Because you, you, you've got to kind of clarify <laughs> that because there's the Street Fighter the movie, the arcade game. Oh yeah, which is a completely is different one? game. Yeah. It's actually a lot. I, I, I would say if you wanted to play a Street Fighter the movie game for some strange mad reason, yeah. play the arcade version on main. Yeah, because, because it's a totally different game. It's a totally different game. And there's a lot of new stuff to see. Yeah. All that is, is Super Street Fighter 2 with, skin. with shitty skins yeah. and horrible lag and controls and dodginess thrown in for good measure and slowness as well. And It's really slow. For reminiscence purposes, I actually watched the film the other week again. So, oh, so Agent May is Chun-Li, it is awful, it's so, the B-rated cheesiness is so, so... The biggest so problem is, like, if that wasn't Street Fighter, okay, Yeah. I'd probably love that movie. Yeah. Because it's awful. Yeah. It's, it's so awful, awful but movies. because it's based on something that I love, I don't like it. Yeah. I mean, the, it, it would be a so bad it's good movie if it wasn't Street Fighter. If it was just a movie and it didn't have the Street Fighter references, mm. I think I would love it because it's so bad. And you kind of go back and you think, well, you know, Guile is... Van uh, uh, Damme as Guile kind of makes sense. Yeah. But Kylie Minogue is funny. <laughs> well, Raul Jula was a perfect bison. I mean, he passed away. I don't know. It, yeah, yeah of course. Kind of sucks. He, he, he made a good bison, but... Yeah. He was so over the top and and ridiculous, <laughs> and uh, you know, there's, there's so much. That, like I said, if if only it wasn't cape. Street Fighter, if only it wasn't Street Fighter, yeah. I would love that movie. Yeah. Um, but it's I, alas, I can't. So. Yeah. Okay, and so on to my next load of games. I've got these games from one seller on the groups. Um, Chris Coombs. I, I, I believe the next one is going to be the weakest of the bunch. <sighs> I said to Tony when I turned up tonight, I've played them all properly today yeah, and I've we, got lots we, to talk We purposefully about. didn't talk about them yeah. first because yeah. I, I, I've I, obviously been recording footage and stuff and he's mm. been playing them to, mm. you know, so yeah, we can actually... So uh, I, I will show off first of all the first one I purchased which is a stupid game which goes for £100. It's £100 now and it's... Rubbish! It's beyond rubbish, it's X-Men Children of the Atom on the PlayStation. So we'll go back to the story of how this came out first of all. So a claim were developing it. Okay, so you'll see it's got Quite a probe, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a claim on the back. And near the end of development it was so bad they pulled out and they were like, fuck, we're not having this, it's a pile of shit, it's dreadful, it should never be released. However, Probe then overtook two years later, two whole years mm. later, and released this stinking pile of And this did dog not come shit. out until after X-Men vs. Street Fighter on the PlayStation yeah, yeah. and Marvel Super yes, Heroes. it was one of the last games. And can I just say as well, not only did they make a stinking shit port of it, so there's me at home, 
I love to play my PlayStation 1 games on my PlayStation 3. So the eye pops it in and it's blinking. Oh no, there's something wrong with this. The picture keeps disappearing and stuff like that. Oh, for fuck's sake, what's going on here? So me drags my PS2 out. Exactly the same thing happening. It's unfucking playable. So me goes up in the attic and me drags my PS1 out and it works fine. So I go online and yes, this game here does not run properly on the PS2 or the PS3. So, ah, stressful, it's working. I'm now going to play it. Oh my, <laughs> there's like one frame of animation for each character. The, the, the load of And time. lag as well. Yes, you, uh, I'm getting you, there. You, uh, yeah. As you do the move, as you do the move, it lags. And then it does the move, yeah. and you can't read what's going on on the screen. No, it's impossible. And the load times. Oh my god, I literally thought I was playing the Neo Geo CD again. Yeah. And the monkey was yeah. going to turn yeah. up. And... Ah, oh, whatever idiot pays £100 for this game, hit yourself on the head with an iron bar. I'm lucky I got a really good deal on all these games, and I didn't play nowhere near that. I knew it was going to be bad. Yeah, <laughs> basically... It never is bad. It's unplayable. You can't pull off moves. You can't win. It's The Saturn version, <laughs> the Saturn version is not a perfect port. No. It's not arcade perfect, mm. but it's a fantastic game. It Still really is bollocks. a fantastic, yeah. brilliant, hot yeah. bollocks, Magneto, you're a fucker, <laughs> game. Oh no. Yeah, um, but that is just a disaster waiting to... I mean, obviously the collectability is the low numbers, the lateness of the release. But as a game in itself, I, I will say, up until this point of collecting, going through the Capcom game... Yeah, like, you've got the good ones. Yeah. I <laughs> kind of like... Been so chuffed. I'm seeing from a second point, you know, a, a later on point of advice where I'm not going, ha ah, ha, it's not a good Saturn version, ha ah, it's not a good Saturn version. I'm appreciating the games for what they are. You see them as one on one beat em ups, and it's absolutely fine. No, that part of shit. Just forget it exists. So, X Men vs. Street Fighter, no, X Men vs. Street Fighter rules, <laughs> but X Men Children of the Atom on the PlayStation 1. It's a big thumbs down with a fucking turd on it. And the next game. It's actually not too bad. It's ah. not as good as the Dreamcast one, though. Yeah, it doesn't compare to the Dreamcast one. But the thing is, right, so first of all, SNK versus Capcom Pro. Now, I fucking played the shit out of Because you don't actually one. have that for the Dreamcast, do you? No, no. I played the shit out of the first one, and then they released the Pro version on the Dreamcast. So I've got the PAL version, of course. Yeah. yeah you've got the PAL version. But, but that's uh, poo. Yeah. You want, you want Pro? <laughs> <laughs> missing two characters. It's no, it's not that. It's not just that. You're missing all the unlocks, everything. Yeah. Everything's unlocked in it. And yeah. Necro well, rooms unlocked. And yeah. And you also you could buy different character skins. I, I've got to say, after playing, probably I played Capcom vs SNK2 so much. Go, mm. Going back is kind of yeah. like strange. Now, I've got real good fond memories of this game. I did actually get the pro version on the Dreamcast when it came out. Mm. Um, but I'm like my story and didn't know what was going on so didn't keep it so it was good this was when i actually had it when it first came out um the, this game it does suffer from a little bit of lag but the biggest issue this game is has is it does mid game loading mm. i had you know the thing is this is obviously yeah but it's no different than yeah, king of fighters yeah. this was a, a later later release so this was basically near the end of the playstation yeah. life because these yeah. were hitting the dream yeah. so it goes to yeah. show it's moving yeah. on from the saturn and yeah. so forth it's perfectly playable this is this is still 30 quid and it's an acceptable 30 quid and if you like um but versus the thing thing. is though you can get you mm. can get that on the japanese yeah. dreamcast 12 oh, to 15 yeah. yeah that's posted yeah 12 yeah. to 15 and so, so I mean, like, we go back to X Men: Children of the Atom, right? So, for the price of that piece oh, of yeah, shit, oh yeah, but that, that that's extremely yeah, bad. Though. But for the price of that piece of shit, X Men: Children of the Atom, you can buy a Saturn, a copy of X Men: Children of the Atom, a copy of Marvel Super Heroes, and probably Alpha One and Two. And those pads. <laughs> yeah, and and a couple of pads. <laughs> Do that instead. But yeah, so yeah, this is a great fun game, enjoyable. I got all the way up to um, uh, not River Girl. Uh, Kuma. No, 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 SNK boss. Geese? Yeah, Geese. And I kicked his ass in first form. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Not in second form. <laughs> Predictable. <laughs> yeah. He Diable. killed me. After five or six attempts, I was turning it off. But, yeah, it's not bad. I say, it, it's, it's okay. 
Yeah. It's not, yeah. but I mean, I was, because yeah. I played X Men Children of the Atom first, so I was hating everything yeah. because of that yeah, yeah, pile yeah, yeah, of yeah. shit and jumping in the attic to get a yeah. PlayStation. Actually, having to get a PlayStation 1 out. You can see, <laughs> you can see when, it, when it's running, it doesn't mm. look that bad. Yeah. It doesn't look great like the Dreamcast version does. I mean, it's no. lovely and smooth and everything else. Yeah. But it's not bad. No. You know, it's not bad. Um, but again, if you've got the option, you've got a Dreamcast, get the Dreamcast version. Yeah. Definitely. Um, definitely at the Dreamcast version. Definitely, yeah. Um, um, so this, this is so with this as well. You, you do actually have um, the option of you can buy second, no, not second colour, sorry, EX version of characters, which are all unlocked. And they're, they're all unlocked on the um, Dreamcast version. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, so you have to pay money for. Well, you don't pay money. You win and you get fight points. Yeah. So I got a three hundred and eighteen yeah. fight points. Also yeah. unlocking certain characters. Yeah. Certain characters don't have like yeah. EX versions. Yeah. But most of them do. Uh, they, all, they all do. No, the bottom row, the boss characters didn't have the ES version to oh, buy, right. unless they were unlocked. Because yeah. you go to a screen, it shows all the characters, oh, right. and there's a few that are in a shadow. The ones that are in the shadow, you go down, and it just says no oh, ES that's version. Weird. Yeah. That's different to the Dreamcast version. Yeah. So. I'm sure with Dreamcast, they all had EX characters. I'm Quite sure, possibly. because you, it was like, basically, you had one version was like Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter version, and one version was regular Street Fighter, yeah. and Super sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know. that's the way it went. Yeah. But say so it was only kind of like the boss characters, and there was like two or three other characters mm. that didn't have yeah. them. Yeah. But for the most part, yeah, they were there. And onto my favourite game I've played today. Just say it and sit down. Fucking Mortal Kombat again. <laughs> I fucking hate Mortal Kombat. Yeah. And actually, this is it's actually, is honestly slightly better than um, the later ones. i got to be honest, I play quite a bit of Mortal Kombat Gold on the Dreamcast. Mortal Kombat mm. Gold is basically just Mortal Kombat 4 upgraded more characters mm. and slightly... A couple more triangles on the characters, but, but they added, the Dreamcast was triangles. They added the extra, extra like, move styles, didn't they? Yeah, there's loads more added. And that's where they stuff. added, but, uh, that's, and that ruined it. Too much. Adding those move styles and stuff. It was too much. But I put this on, and... Because I, I've been playing Mortal Kombat, playing Mortal Kombat 11, so if you, you think of in the past, is bad. Now, I personally quite enjoyed playing Mortal Kombat 3 when I purchased it on the PlayStation 1 a couple of months back. Mm. And I got used to using the really simple combos. Now, the really mm. simple combos are in this, and it plays quite well. The jumping and the 3 d oh, oh dear! Oh dear! Well, oh dear! It, first of all, it is rock hard. It is mm. rock hard, and every time you lose, the character 100% does... What I assume is a fatality, hmm. but it's so bad and blocky, sometimes it's just like someone's throwing bits of melon all over the screen. <laughs> but it was playable, it was really weird that I was knocking off the combos. I wasn't getting completely annihilated for the first couple of rounds. But, yeah, this isn't bad. I was quite, you know, so very surprised. Which makes me only need more. I mean, it does kind of look like someone's knocked over a sorbet and mm. it's starting to melt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially Johnny Cage with their weird jointy bits in the arms when they're celebrating and stuff or like that. Or Jacks, whatever it is. He yeah. sort of punches the head and the head goes... <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah. And it's just a kind of like new monk character as well who completely wiped the floor. I couldn't get near him. He just he pulled the sword out as well halfway through the match. I was like, oh, how do I do that? I couldn't figure it out. Because that's the thing. There's weapons on that, yeah. isn't there? Like guns. Yeah. Guns I couldn't figure out how to pull my weapon stuff, out at all. But yeah. this guy, he pulled the sword out. Like, oh, of course you block. You can't fucking block a sword, really, can you? Jax has got his big, like... big gun and... Sonya Blade's got like a blade, yeah. obviously. <sighs> God damn, imagine if it fucking... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, not bad. No, my favourite of the um, of the Capcom games, my favourite of the PlayStation 1 games I bought this month. And Which isn't difficult. Yeah, that's very true. And then I'll go on to some uh, Xbox One games, purchase four Xbox One games this month. There's quite a good offers on E3 or anything, but I didn't mm. buy nothing. Mm. I didn't buy mm. nothing at all on the store. Um, I so, know that feeling. Yeah. I go through all the May Cry's at the moment. And I'm using it as storyboards. I'm not actually being very thorough with it. I'm going from A to B. Uh, number one, great. Number two, what the fuck? Number I three, warned you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But number three, oh my god, wow. Yeah, number three was absolutely brilliant. My first actual De Devil May Cry game was Devil May Cry 4 on the 360 when it mm -hmm. came out. Struggled, it was so hard. But once I got used to it, yeah, absolutely awesome. But yeah, so I'm say, going to go through all of them until my uh, long-term goal, hint, next month, is to play Devil May Cry 5. Mm. I'll get back on page. Mm. <laughs> um, so I want to play like number four and the remake, DMC. I, I paid for like £6.10p for this off eBay mm. delivered. And even though the people were moaning that he didn't look like Dante because he was emo kid, I really enjoyed this game. 
I think it plays well. Yeah, it plays. I think so it plays it, well, but I, I can't stand the character. I really can't stand the character. But yeah, his exactly. I don't like Dante anyway. He's ninja theory, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. There's like three different versions of Dante anyway. <laughs> yeah. There's there's none. There's number three version of Dante, where he's a big mouthy cunt. Yeah. Um, you've got the ver the first version, which I like, the Devil May Cry one version, cool. The cool where version. he's cool. Yeah, the cool version. Uh, anything after three, he's really fucking weird and kind of like has a rose in his mouth and does like weird. You, <laughs> he's a gay cowboy, and you can turn everybody else into a gay cowboy. When you yeah. get to five, you'll know what I mean. I'm not spoiling anything, but I am. But he's a gay fucking cowboy. <clears throat> so he's a gay cowboy, and I recently watched the original film Westworld, and it was awesome. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to get, go on to this. This guys include all the DLC and play it. Really cheap. FIFA 19. I'm not, I don't mind playing FIFA games. I spend way too much time playing, playing the um, league games, so I don't. Literally, what I do with these games is I will play the journey, the story mode, to finish off Striker. Damn, I can't remember his name. The dude's story mode. But I've really, really been attached to the guy in the story in. in the story mode from the, I think it's the third, this is the third oh, year. Oh, Bromance. Continues. Bromance, yeah. <laughs> and I've guided him through his career and we've scored ridiculous goals like our 11 and 12 nil win, <laughs> which I'll take it too easy because I'm not very good at FIFA. <laughs> but I have tried and played, I did try and play FIFA 18 online and got my ass royally kicked. The dude I work with, Jack, he lives playing FIFA yeah, 19 yeah, yeah. and watching all of these tricks and these goals and he puts it millimetre perfect in the top corner and I'm just kind of like, yeah. Ah, never be that good. <laughs> but I do like to pop on and you know, have a tournament as well as, and just mm. generally have fun. But I could, if it was the old days, like Sega Worldwide Soccer, I could lose myself in it. I've still never lost myself in a football game as much as I lost myself to the Amiga version of the world of Sensible World Soccer. Mm. Yeah, mm. Sensible Soccer, the world of the way it was called. The first one actually had management. I, I was about oh. to say, I think any football game that's got management. Yeah. Bye bye time. Completely nothing. Yeah. I mean, I actually like football management games. It's actually, you know, and I like I, I like either football management games mm. or really arcadey super soccer sort yeah. of things. Yeah. I yeah. don't like the in between. The in between yeah. that modern football games are. The football management games that came out that Sega did on the 360 weren't too bad, but the, what what hindered them was the goddamn control. I mean, it's made for mouse and keyboard, and mm. when you had tapping the analog every 30 seconds to get it near it really took you away from the game but yeah so sensible soccer is the one to play I still play it me and Adrian still play it online quite regularly and on my next one Rage 2 I really like the first one disappointed by the ending but yeah this is the type what of game. ending <laughs> exactly <coughs> there was about eight seconds of it and yeah when I saw the trailer for this game I was kind of like yeah that's that, that's my game that is that's fun Throwing people off cliffs. Throwing them off myself. And you've got all the cheats, haven't you, as well? Yeah. So you've got like zero priority and. Um... But, there's, but basically, it's freaking Mad Max. Mm. It's by the team that did Mad Max Avalanche and yeah. fucking Id and all that. And it's got to say, it's got. Well, it's Mad Max gameplay. on big drugs. Yeah. On With big drugs, kind of up. Yeah, really, really, really up. Mutants and stuff. Yeah. And the only thing that. I have heard from someone that's playing is that he says it's very much uh, take out the travelling sections it's got the same sort of issue as Days Gone um, where you get to an area and there's not much to do you can you know you know, you get to an area and you think oh it's going to be going to spend like 20 hours here doing loads of side stuff finding stuff doing missions mm -hmm. and you don't there's two or three repetitive side missions mm -hmm. and one or two collectibles mm -hmm. to find and you move on to the big area but other than that it's supposed to be great but fun. all the time you're shooting things that's good Yes, I'm shooting them madly and throwing them and, mm. and whipping them towards you. And, and then running them over. Getting, and then yeah. getting into a giant mech and shooting them with a giant mech. Yeah, a huge, huge giant mech, which looks awesome. Because it's a great big, huge mutant. It's like a, yep. you know, the mech and alien queen mm. coming up sort of thing. And then I bought, off my friend Ollie, Sonic Team Racing, which I played one Grand Prix on. I played the single player version of it, so I haven't actually used the team element yeah. yet. Thankfully, you can play it without a team element. <sighs> yeah. That fact mm. makes me go, oh, I might actually get that yeah. then. Because if you couldn't play it without that team element, you could fuck right off. Guess what? Um, it's a manual. Oh my god. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's, it's, What's that? It's, it's a mm. manual. It's manual? But you mean like transmission? Yeah, that's the one. And look, look, it's an advert for. Oh my god. So, yeah, an actual manual. It's all different languages. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Manual. 
and it has notes at the back as well. <laughs> you know, I, I, I say one thing, just to be an arse, I would put, this is a manual. We used to have these all the time in the back of the notes. <laughs> yeah, it and should then, be printed out. Yeah. <laughs> nah. 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 It's a little bit small. Yeah, a little bit, not too much. Um, yeah, this is actually all right. I was kind of kind of worried when they first announced it and they showed off mm. the mechanical the teams. Uh, teams. Apparently it does work really well, but me straight away was like, no, single player, yes, it's there, I shall play that. And I did say I did one Grand Prix, got my ass kicked in the first two games, but it's kind of got up and made it evens. It's fun, still doesn't, in my personal opinion, I haven't spent much time with it, but still doesn't play as good as Sonic Racing, Sonic and All-Styles Racing in it, the first one. The first one, yeah. Yeah. Um, Featuring Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> yeah, and your Mii's. Remember you could put your Mii characters, not, not me, Avatar characters. Yeah. me, wrong bloody console. Yes. <laughs> Avatar characters. But yeah, this seems fine. Um, everyone at the moment was going on about Crash Team Racing, and they so say we spoke to Duncan tonight, it was kind of a bloody hard game, and everyone on the net's going rubber banding ruins the game, hey, you just can't win, even if you put on easy. And so yeah, I got this. But well, you were saying there's no unlocks and stuff? In? For characters. For the characters in this game, no, you can unlock uh, like paintwork for the cars, you can unlock different bumpers mm. and stuff like that, but mm. there's no characters, which is quite disappointing because all the other ones have been characters and like areas to unlock. Yeah. Like, cool. Yeah. Yeah, because that's when I first, obviously, the first Sonic's when I unlocked um, a dude from the GameCube game, Rolls and Egg, Billy Hatcher. Yeah. It's like, who's he? Is a GameCube game on him? <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's like when you, when you first, when the very first game, you get like uh, Ryo Hazuki in the Forklift truck. Yeah, that's it? awesome. I think that was the awesome. yeah, that yeah, it's was. a pre-order bonus as well, and yeah. because um, you can get him in something else, but you also get him in Forklift. I thought it was pre-order, and I thought something else. He was on the bike, isn't he? He's yeah. on the bike like he's yeah. in the end of Shenmue. Uh, the XT5 is like the Royal Guy, to be precise. Mm. Shenmue 3 coming soon to a PlayStation 4 and PC, but not Steam. Origin. Epic, isn't it? Origin. Yep. No, no, no epic, epic. Epic, yeah, it's no. not Origin, it's not EA. <laughs> EA, huh? don't, EA don't own everything, yeah. other than like trying to rename loot boxes lately. <laughs> Surprise so, mechanics! Everyone loves surprise <laughs> mechanics. Perfect name, yeah. So my last pickup this month was a, a game I didn't have, uh, well actually on the Mega Drive. I saw it in CX Doctor Robotics Mean Bean Machine. Uh, decent quality copy. I needed it for the collection. Put it on. Oh, sorry to put on the show. Put it on. Uh, won the first couple of matches. It's a good. <laughs> and then got my. Uh, it's Pio Pio. It's just a. I really but like it the story they've added to it, though. What, really cool. what I don't like about that mm. is mm. you haven't got the. Yeah? I've got a Sonic Scramble. Uh, um, oh, it's a pulley out. Yeah, it's a pulley out. Hey! It's is a it, poster. It's, this is in the wrong game by the looks of it because it says Sonic Spinball unless it's one of the ones they used to do. Uh, it should, I think it's just a generic because it's yeah. got all the, all the games in the back. Yeah. It's just a generic one, I think. Yeah, right, so let's get Star Trek, Sonic CD, Asterix, um, Body Count, that was fucking awful, that was. Sonic Chaos, uh, Sonic Chaos. X-Men! Yeah. X. Oh, Dr. Bot Robot, it's Mean Bean Machine, that might be, oh my god, in excess, I remember that pile of shit. Oh, yeah, make your own video. Yeah, that's the one. Night Trap, which uh, me and Adrian was playing recently, it's bloody awful. But yeah, basically this is Payu Payu. Um, the first time he I hasn't got the cool voice. Jump, jump, jump. Yeah, yeah. They just shoved Sonic in it. The first time I actually played this game and finished it was on the Mega Drive collection for the 360. Because there was an achievement to finish it to actually beat Doctor Robotnik. Mm. It was hard. Much swearing. Much longer. Oh, is he going to do one of his flashy to hand things? Dun dun. Oh no. It should be. That's not Smash Bros. It's Bi Pio Pio. Yeah. I just saw the box Pio Pio. and I just saw, hang on, that doesn't look like my box. No, it's <laughs> probably Pio Pio. Yeah. It's, uh... I mean, it's good. It's fast. It's just a ready money round. It's not bad. I don't think it's actually worth 20 quid. I mean, it's. No. No. Um, it's £3 on for Pio Pio Champions, whatever it is, on PSN just now. Oh, is it? And um, for that, Amazing. it's worth it. Go yeah. for it. It's a really, really good yeah. game. It's annoying how the, the Switch got this, the exclusive, what was it, Tetris 100 or Tetris mm. 99. Yeah. That looks That's really, 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 cool. really good. Yeah, that's really, really It's like, basically, to play it's that. player unknown yeah. battlegrounds with Tetris. Yeah. Yeah, so you keep going until one person wins, mm. but of course, you can make it Switch exclusive. Mm. No, I'm good. We know you're watching it. Switch will be a door handle. Not door handle, door stop. <laughs> and turn the switch it's a back Yeah. Back Backstratcher. Back yeah, so there's my few games of June. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Any comments down below? 
and don't buy X-Men Children or the Atom. If you must play it, like I said, get a Saturn mm. and get X-Men Children out and get an extra pad. Or just go maim. Yes. Just go maim or a fight don't, cage. Don't maim anyone, but actually mm. go to maim. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't you, you would want to maim someone if you paid £100 for that shine. Yes. Yes. I mean, over the years I've seen it by now. Oh, that's, that's, that's just a little bit below, shall I? I'm so, mm. so, so glad I didn't because... Uh, it's, it's, I mean, first of all, when it came up and it wasn't working, I thought, oh, great, someone with a PS3. Mm. And you know the issue, don't you? It's like, oh, but I have a PS2 to hand because I have me modified PS2. Put it in that same issue. Oh, is it the disc? Put it in the PS1, plays flawlessly. But it's just, it's just crap. Probe, you fail. Anyway, guys, take care and speak to you next month.